Good evening, spirits, specters, boils, ghouls, hunks, hotties, and things from beyond. And welcome to a very, very special chapter of Blood from a Stone, a tale of love and dread in RPG. My name is Philip, and I am the Dreadmaster. And surrounding me, the crew, the cast, the players, the characters, like the, the USA Doom. Network, characters are welcome here. Ooh. Gosh. Here are our players. Say good evening, players. Good evening, good evening, evening players. players. There we go. So, tonight's game is going to be a lot of fun. I We're kind of just going to get into it. Sometimes we, we, we joke around and say horrible things and open dice bags, but since this one is not explicitly sci-fi tonight, we're just gonna get to it. The Dread Clock. I do want to say... Oh, go ahead. I just want to say that uh, um, 86 is my favorite multiple of 13, that's all. You know, would that it were, sir. Would that it were. Believe me, I, didn't know. I would love for this... Uh, Lauren, He, d d if you have a calculator, you can determine that he's not telling you the truth. I don't, I do have, okay. Yeah, it is, uh, like, like I trust me, I would love it if this was a multiple of 13, but it is not. We are, what, like, six shy? Oh, we're very shy. Five yeah. shy, something like that. We're very shy. It's, I'm, I'm shocked that I'm showing my face on stream. It won't be a 13th until, it won't be a 13th until 91. We're at 80. I'm really shy, too. Um, That's, okay. So I don't just, like attention at all. Just liar's night is what this is? I hate Star Trek. Okay. Same. No one here likes Star Trek. We all hate it. That's true. Everyone in this group hates Star Trek so much. Although, the second thing I'm about to say could actually follow that, which is basically, which is basically, we all hate Star Trek so much when we do our Star Trek games, we're basically barely playing the game and we're just doing 90s advertisements. Um, That's what yeah. it has become. That is what it has become. <laughs> um, so, the Dread Clock stands at three. <clears throat> which means a dread storm is not as likely tonight, but that's largely irrelevant to my purposes because one is basically already happening. The, the past couple of sort of weeks and timing of things have been have have been uh, such that this storm is still raging. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how we got here. The thirteen tombstones originated unbeknownst to any of these characters, back in Merkshire, when James Joffrey was basically trying to, like, reach out beyond, and sort of, some people wound up contacting some, some th he, he and, uh, and, uh, what was his first name, Zane? Of, uh, Victor? Yeah, yeah, Victor, yeah, Victor Moncrief of Moncrief Mortuary, as the two of them sort of, like, reached out beyond the veil, trying to Victor was basically trying to contact his his brother, but uh, um, instead James, with a G, sort of interacted with some other things. And long story short, an order was purchased for thirteen tombstones at the usual, at the standard rate. I will mention that it was Victor who said, "Let me have thirteen of them." Um, the standard rate was one death, which James and Victor brought about in the form of Ula bride of the court magician. Skip some things that happened there irrelevant. We are now here back in paradise where Alvin Theodore and Morgan Mason of Mason Memorial Masonry. Morgan Mason Memorial Masonry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the two of them got these tombstones, which seemed to have an odd property. When they wished that somebody were dead, a name was carved into the stone. And if that person then died and was buried under the stone, a purple skull of glowing gem lit up from the classic tombstone. A lot has happened since then. 
Morgan and Al- Alvin found themselves whistling as some friendly ghosts would come to them. Um, Morgan met her death during a horror surge at the hands of a demon. They encountered Hopper, who is not a demon, but no one has figured that out ever. Um, they they also met some of the Mistwalkers. The Trapper showed up, as did the Sailor, the Drifter, the Soldier of Fortune, La Trovadora, the Boxer, and the Peddler, I believe, are the ones we have seen. Oh, and the Journalist and the Bounty Hunter. Oh my god, what am I doing? I may be forgetting someone. So the point is, after much, after much time, all of those tombstones have now had names said, carved in, but Alvin's role in whatever business is going on is not over because it is being said that whoever fills these in is going to be given power. A miracle is how Hopper described it, but it's been described other ways by other people. Um, Alvin found himself at the center of a power struggle, the drifter representing one side those who call themselves the Alliance of the Pearl, in whose sort of territory they currently are here in Paradise. They're working for someone called the Stone Man, and basically they want to keep things nice and tidy as they are. At least that's how he pitched it to Alvin, but Alvin does not trust the Drifter because his jaw is just too square. He also encountered a man named the Soldier of Fortune, who is a violent, rude, cigar-chomping, mustachioed, just murder fellow who doesn't seem to be happy that he's been pulled into this, that he is one of the Mistbreakers, which, for those who've been watching a long time, if you cast your minds back to our Halloween week of blood, he got pressed into service because uh, the Dark Lord photographer of Voluptua. Guys, a lot happens on this show. The point being, the Drifter and... The Soldier of Fortune represent two opposing forces, and at varying times, Alvin has been allied with both. But, upon using a key phrase, he swore, he, after the key phrase being, let me sleep on it, he basically swore that he would love the Alliance of the Pearl until the end of time. A song was spontaneously sung by all present in the Grand Necropolis of Paradise, should also be mentioned. Alvin works the Grand Apropos of Paralyze. He just wants to take it. He just wants to make it beautiful. So, upon upon doing that, Alvin provided further names. They are now all filled in. As we saw last week, the bounty hunter has succeeded in acquiring James Breton, and all she had to do was murder about six or seven vampires, including Madam Ether. rest in fang um so we now rejoin alvin as well as two of the individuals who he decided not to pass a judgment on ava rojas and gilbert perisun uh perisun perisun if we recall last time after witnessing the drifter um kind of like oh there was also some stuff about the elves of shadow i don't even worry about that that's just some stuff um but basically after encountering this drifter a bit alvin was like all right um they need to find a way to escape this tower because stuff's going bad so we're going to rejoin alvin gilbert and ava they are about halfway up the tower in the chamber that former i mean that still technically houses the remains of Lady Joan, but her spirit that had been there keeping all of her sort of, all those servants who are entombed with her alive and chained up below, uh, she has now been purged by the Drifter, so there is just, just a body. But Alvin, Ava, and Gilbert, you guys are, are, um, are in this room, and you have said you wish to escape outside there are the sounds of rain. There are um, sounds of battle, fighting, screams, alien creatures, a loud 
explosive kind of laser-like laser-like sound. It's a very strange thing going on out there. You also hear this kind of unhinged guy complaining about all these people in a voice that sounds like gravel. So it's a lot going on. But as we set this stage, I'm now going to read the invocation for Blood from a Stone, chapter 86. The sea is whipping the sky. The sky is whipping the sea. You can hide away forever from the storm, but you'll never hide away from me. The icy cold will cut us like a knife in the dark, and we may lose everything in the wind. But the northern lights are burning, and they're giving off sparks. I want to wrap myself around you like a winter skin. Alvin, Ava, and Gilbert. What would you like to do? If I remember correctly, I think um, toward the end of the close of the last game, Alvin was looking out to see, are they stuck in this tower or is there any way out? Um, um, but I don't know if much has changed since last time. You look down, and it seems like there is a lot of fighting down below, but you are not certain that there's no avenue that you could go. There there very well may be a way that you could, like, you know, kind of just get from here to the thing, but it would probably be a run, or you'd have to sneak or something. Um, I will certainly say that the the back entrance that you came in, you, you had a pretty high perception, I think. Um, or you have a pretty high perce- passive. So we'll say that you can tell that, like, that's that water that's been rolling in from the mist. That's more on the back entrance. So maybe the front entrance is more is more open and free. Hmm. Also, Alvin, well, what also, is your passive perception as I, as I think of it? I think it, uh, where'd it go? Uh, 16. 16, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yes, G- uh, Gilbert, did you have a question? Well, I mean, I was going to say, these... These damn gargo- gargoyles brought me here. Can't they fly us out of here? I don't know if it works like that. What? They... <laughs> it's a one-way ticket? Yeah, they're going to check our tickets and say, Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We can kidnap you, but we can't return you. Well, think about who commands them. It's not you. I don't know. I thought maybe, I thought maybe he might be involved. He's the one who's like, you're like saying what goes, apparently. I well, you can go out and ask them. They can take you back. I wouldn't recommend it. I was involved. But I, I feel as if I I was being perceived as a pawn in some type of game to what end I I, I don't quite understand, but I think it's best if we get out of here. I I'm not sure what would happen when the drifter returns. Oh. You say that. And uh, Liv, normally I would actually have this be a roll, but uh, in this case I'm looking at what your stats are and let's just kind of go with some passive to passive. Alvin, you hear um, like a small clattering outside of the door into this room, the one that you entered through, the one that uh, like that boxer guy closed behind you guys. You hear as if someone was, like, maybe out there sneaking and has a, uh, literally has a negative two to their stealth. Nice. Um, so, you, you believe... Who's there? Uh, hello? Who's there? He can't see me yet, right? Yeah, the door is closed. But you you were kind of creeping up here because you thought maybe something was going on, and suddenly they're like, who's out there? So you know you've been detected, yes. Uh, can I uh, open the door? <laughs> sure. It is not locked. Uh, so Alvin, okay. the door opens, and if you would describe yourself. Um, me? Describe myself? Yeah, please. It's been so long since I've had to play a new character. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am Sister Lucy. I'm a, a nun- uh, who is uh, a little bit German, 
And, uh, <laughs> I think that's all I'm gonna say for now. I'm, uh, I'm part of the town parish, and, uh... G give me, like, a, give me, like, an age. Oh. Um, god, we developed her so long ago. I know. She's this was, this like, was, like, one of your characters from the first time we were in Paradise. From the very beginning. Her weapon remember. is a yardstick, because of, she, pr technically, yes. this character, oh, this character yes. predates Sister so Mercy. I carry, I carry around a yardstick. Uh, and I would say that I'm presumably in my early 30s, okay. but it's kind of hard to tell. Sounds good. All right, so you see a woman in her early 30s, a nun. And Alvin, I will say that you would recognize Sister Lucy as someone who comes and will pray here periodically. Sister Lu Lucy, do you think you are respectful of the grounds? Do you walk on the grass? Do you leave trash and things like that? No, I would, I'm very respectful. So I assume I know what Alvin's opinion of her is then, because it seems to almost always be based on that one metric. <laughs> uh, but Alvin, you see Sister Sister Lucy is here. Oh. Sister. Yeah. Why are you here at, of all times now? Why do I need any justification to come and honor the dead? That is a, a good point, but do you see what's happening outside? I didn't see what was happening, right? Though. You did. In fact, you did, and that's why you took refuge within this oh. tower. You, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's crazy out there. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. I saw I saw what was happening, and that is why I took refuge in here. It is, uh, it is quite disturbing. That is... One word to describe it. Uh, I don't know if it's safe here, even. Why? Why would you say such a thing? Well, we're involved in something. I, I'm not sure what yet, but um, there, there is danger with. Uh, those that wish for something of me. I, I, I don't know. I, I know it's not making any sense, but it, it's not safe for you to be here. I see. Was there a safe path to leave? <laughs> no. Who are you, my child? Ava, just here, helping Alvin finish a job. What What are you doing here late at night? <laughs> Have Ever heard of a little sleep? kidnapping? I'm sorry. What? Well, we just I don't, I don't know. I don't know how everyone else got here, but I was brought here by some of those gargoyles outside. So, I'm just trying to get home and get to safety. Philip, is Lucy familiar with the gargoyles or anyone? Please make an arcana roll for me. Um, I suppose in her case, if it matters, um, no, religion and arcana are the same. So yeah, just just, just roll, roll those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is a nine. They're, they're dark-sided. Gargoyles are dark-sided, you know that. Um, well, I know they're dark sided, but I'm not about them being. You are yeah. unfamiliar with specifics of their sort of lore or nature. You're f you understand what a gargoyle is. You've seen them on on stuff, and you know what, Sister Lucy. Um, yeah, given you, you've got a, uh, we'll also say that you you did see a couple of them flying around outside. So you, it is not. I mean, it's insane that they're talking about gargoyles, but. But Given I'm not what surprised. you've seen, you're like, okay, got it. So they are seeing this too. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not good. Uh, so there is no exit. It is unsafe uh, inside as well as outside. Mm, so what do you propose? I, I wonder if, um, based on what Alvin saw, if there's a way to get to his shed. 
I will say that certainly the idea of navigating from here to your shed feels like something you'd you'd be able to put together the best route for. And your shed then would not be, you know, you could kind of go to your shed as like a stop point, and then you you aren't incredibly far from the gates at your shed, in fact. Mm. So yeah, you could certainly try to make it to your shed. That would not be that would not be a terrible idea. I think it's best we go to my shed. I they know where we are here. The um the gargoyles were part of a plan and I was I was chosen to judge. Shed but what is shed? It uh my abode house. where I live. Okay. It's should be safer there. I see. Uh, very well. Alvin would just like to start walking. So I'll follow immediately behind him. If uh, Gilbert and, and Sister Lucy, if you're following down, Alvin is taking you kind of down to these lower levels. And uh, Alvin, you do notice that, like, once you get a little lower you are seeing that there is maybe an inch of water on the floor in here. Um, can I do a uh, perception check to just kind of see if there's any anything abnormal or dangerous associated with the water? Certainly. Well, that's a... Uh, that's an 11. An 11. Um, because you have a plus six, so yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so you're like a five. Oh, okay, it's ha- it's better than average. Um, so uh, as you as you look around, you don't see anything immediately. Um, I guess one thing you would notice is is you see some of your precious flowers. You know, you see some pieces of fresh cut sod that kind of got you know, like after you've mown it, there's you know, so there's like short pieces of the grass, like those are floating around. But you also see some plants that look a little more exotic. Um, almost like seaweed here and there. Um, and within 11, that's probably all you'd notice. Something's off. You don't say. I think we should just keep moving. All right. Um, the doors stand open. Sister Lucy, you came in through those doors. Outside here on the ground, you do hear screams and cries and like, like, thudding noises and as we get to this first spot we are now going to make an entire a thoroughly different kind of role um i was gonna kind of ask if you guys want me to make these or do you want to make them yourselves oh we'd love to make rolls because our rolls don't count then who here would like to roll on behalf of the drifter uh. roll for the drifter please Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. So, with a sixteen, that gets him to well over twenty. Um, the drifter, meanwhile, has, um, like, with a couple of gargoyles, easily gotten to the furthest place. This is not also happening necessarily exactly at the same time. He's gotten over to that last grave which he sees, says John Lane. And though there are attacks coming at him, there are, you know, sort of, there might even be the errant, like, you know, laser blast coming his way, or strange squiggling, you know, uh, sea creatures reaching up for him, harpoons thrown, he's able to evade those no problem, and direct John Lane, cursing Alvin's name one last time. This shaft of light hits him, and he looks so he looks so handsome. He's just like <laughs> such a movie star. He's just oh. oh Alvin, you're really making me work for it. Come on, let's find this John Lane. And they fly off into the night. So Alvin, you've reached the bottom of the tower. There are three people with you. Outside you hear the sounds of battle, a battle that you know is well outside your 
your sort of level of of ability to combat. Stone things are fighting tentacled monsters. To get to your shed, you're going to have to wend around <laughs> through some areas, some of which could be the most direct route. There would be a submerged section, so that will be a part of an athletics check. Or you guys could try to go sneakily, which would be a sort of stealth-based thing, and might involve the odd tracking <laughs> roll here or there. So, you as a group can debate based on your strengths. Obviously, Ava and Gilbert literally are just rolling flats for all, but you guys can pick a proficiency here or there, so you can, if you want to lay down on one of these, you can you can add two to some of those rolls. Alvin, which of those would you recommend? I am not the most stealthy man, um, but I... But I have a plus five in athletics. <laughs> so you, so your, 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 your bet is to run for it. Yes. Understood. I, I would also prefer to run. All right. Sure. So Gilbert and Ava, you guys, yeah. with with limited stuff. If if you either of you want to put a proficiency into athletics, that can be your one. You can do it, but who knows what else you'll need before uh, it comes through. So yeah. in that case. You guys will sort of just forget about. It's like this is like forget about stealth, forget about anything. Alvin, just like follow me, and you guys are going to to just rush across the the grounds. All right. So first, would all four of you please make an athletics check for Sister Lucy? Yeah. Gilbert and Ava. These are flat rolls. For Alvin, you get a plus five. Oh fuck. Oh no. One. Three. Three. But, well, there was a nat one, but it's a six. It's a six, but sure. Sister Lucy? <laughs> what do you think? Roll 13? Fucking cock. Yes. Please yeah. roll your d13 if you would. Damn, that is not none language. That's just not good. Yeah. Now's really the time to roll a 13 on the d13. I'll say that. Nine. That's just not good. Uh, I rolled an 11, so back into prison it goes. All right, so basically, you guys start taking off across the area. And we'll basically say that um, kind of a wave of water sort of like has like come up a little more. And, and, and Albert, uh, Alvin, Gilbert, and Ava are just trying to like run through the water. Um, And like a bad dream it's like you just like start running through and like it like it's like like your shoes are completely sucked it's like sucking feeling and um as you guys are running just like you're being like a, a little bit more sister lucy's actually like she's like a good bit ahead of you guys um but now yes, alvin, we do calisthenics at the, at uh, the abbey since i guess technically alvin you are over five so even though you've rolled in that one um you are not you were not knocked over, but Gilbert and Ava are like are like on the ground. The water is not like they're not like submerged, but like it's washing over them. Um, and Alvin, it is at this time you do see some like tentacles beginning to like move up out of the water over towards you all. So Albert, you're like you're stuck. Sister Lucy is a bit further. Gilbert and Ava are on the ground in the water, prone. Let's roll initiative. Oh boy! Oh boy! Right, there we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, 15. Ugh, Lucy's stats are bad. I forgot how bad her stats are, man. That's probably why you never played her. Uh, no, no, it just didn't work out. We didn't get to her because Dahlia lasted so long. That's true. Gilbert? Uh, I rolled a 15. Hey, Oop. Gilbert and Ava. They may have no stats, but they both got 15s. Alvin? Yeah, maybe. Uh, 16. Hey! And Sister Stop. Lucy. Five? Okay. So basically, Sister Lucy, this honestly makes sense because since you overran that a bit, you're kind of like looking back and being like, oh, wow, and sort of seeing all that is transpiring behind. I'm going to roll a couple of things real quick. Oh, what a bad time for me to roll a 19. What a just, what a just bad time. Yeah, I'm sure you're so sad about it. <clears throat> Dad, gotta roll for someone else. Hey, <laughs> ah. that laugh. 
Uh, he gets, oh boy, he's even higher. All right, so. Alvin, you see everyone fall. And then you see, splashing ahead, and these tentacles moving. Um, tentacles are coming for everyone who's further back. Sister Lucy is not being attacked by these. Uh, not yet, at least. Because Gilbert and Ava are prone, as if it mattered. They have 10 AC, but I am rolling advantage. Uh, yes, so that one. So Gilbert, a tentacle wraps around you. Ava, a tentacle wraps around you as well. Not in a fun way. Well, probably not. <laughs> I would imagine this context is not great. The fact that you have not given the tentacles a safe word means it's it's you're on, starting on a bad place. <sighs> and uh, for those who can, don't know if I'll be able to tilt no. this without it doing it, but that is a natural twenty for the one for Alvin. So basically, Alvin, like, like tentacles just reach out and grab Gilbert and Ava and begin like pulling them through the muck and you're kind of like up and like oh what and Sister Lucy you watch as Alvin is just this tentacle like wraps around him I'll, I'll say because it was a crit this one wraps like like so many times and like suckers like stick onto his face um, huh? Alvin take one point of damage even because of the, the the power with which you've been you've been tied up but basically and he begins to be lifted up into the air that's is Kraken it, 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 it doesn't look not like a kraken. It looks more like a Cthulhu. These look these actually look like mouth tentacles. Um, I just see oh, Sister Lucy would not know that. But um, great. Um, he's held in action. So um, Alvin, it is actually your turn. Um, and I'm going to let you take your turn. However, something sort of happens at the beginning of your turn. Um, which is you are pulled closer to, like, the mouth of this thing, and you see these, like, dozens of strange eyes that are, seem some of them are looking through reality, some of them are in front of the others, but you can see them both. It's very upsetting. Um, but you also sort of notice that as you're turned, and, and you're turned upside down, so everything's going, like, topsy-turvy. Now, you feel that you could use your action to try to break free here. You have to make an athletics check. Um, but as you are as you turn, you see this kind of, like, strange glow of light above you. And, like, standing on top of this thing, holding this massive laser rifle, smoking a cigar, is the soldier of fortune. And he'll just sort of, upon seeing you, he'll kind of go, Ah, well, well, well. All the people are running to here. He seems to have an action, but he's still holding it. Alvin, what would you like to do or say? You're on your turn. Um, all the names have been said. Wow. Well, and you're in an interesting situation, friend. Um, yeah. Gil, Alvin, are you? Do you just want to talk? Do you want to use your turn, kind of chatting and trying to? I, I, is there any chance I'm going to get out of this creature's grasp with, uh... With a plus five, it's it's entirely plausible, but I'll, I'll... whether or not you'll get away from that and from the Soldier of Fortune with a, again, like, super futuristic looking laser rifle. Mm. This is his, this is the weapon you want him to have. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's just trying to get free so he can talk to him. Okay, so you're so sort of not trying to like run away. Okay, go ahead and make an athletics roll then. That's fine. Well, that was a nat 13, baby. Oh, um, no! But no. that's yes. uh, 18. 18, So, great. anyway, let me get that little... Um, uh, 18 actually will get you out of it. Ah, that's good. And I rolled a four on the D30. Understood. So as you're... God, I need like a... I don't have any... I, wish, I need a cigar prop for this guy. It's like a pen just doesn't cut it. It's perfect for Tatiana Temple, but I need like a... I'll just bring you a cigar, Philip. Yeah, it's fair. Um, but then I'll smoke it. 
Um, Nein, das ist nicht gut. Don't. Ah, and I just undid a roll of quarters. Ain't it always the way. Anyway, the point is the soldier of fortune. Uh, ah, got it. <laughs> it's the sunglasses all over again. Yep. No. I'm not mad about this because I didn't know I needed it. Also, don't put a roll of quarters in your mouth, Philip. Get a roll of yeah. Uh, you don't you don't know you don't it. know where those quarters have been or whose asses they've been bounced off of. Mm. It's a carrot. What a, a carrot. 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 <laughs> they only ah, had that's good. they only had baby carrots this time, but that's fine. So it's a nub of a cigar. He's been smoking it for a while. Alvin, I'm gonna say, since you managed to like get out of the, you managed to like break free. Um, the soldier fortune kind of tilts, and in fact, like, it seems like the tentacle, like, seeing that you're getting out of it, moves you sort of closer to the head, and the soldier of fortune sort of, like, stands there as you are able to escape kind of onto the head, and you're sort of standing right next to him. So that is your action, and you've expressed that they're all out, and he's kind of just looking at you like, well, well, well. Um, it is now, uh, Ava and Gilbert, you have the same initiative. Who would like to go first? Uh, Ladies first. Thanks. Ava, please roll a an athletics check. Okay. As we've seen from Alvin, it is feasible that you can get out of this. It's not for me, <laughs> too. Two. Ava oh. tries to struggle. <laughs> she is now underwater. <gasps> Gilbert, same thing for you, please. All right. Don't roll a two. <laughs> PPK. Oh, so fucking close. That's a 12. A 12. Gilbert, you are unable to get out, but I'll say because you're not as super low as Ava, your your <laughs> struggles are keeping your head up, but you see that she's like under the water as it's thrashing. Yeah. Both of you are being pulled to this like <clears throat> mouth. Um, Sister okay. Lucy, yes. you were in an interesting position because you yeah. you have options. Like, uh, you're, you're a little further. You see that they're all being carried by this thing. The gate to this place is far and it is it, there are you know, the the gate is far and full of horrors. Um, you you also don't know where the shed in question is. Yeah. That's... So they're all in a thing, but you you have options. What would you like to do, yeah. Sister Lucy? That is very very true. I don't know where the shed is. Um, can I pray for guys? Uh, you can actually. Um, go ahead. You're going to cast Guidance on yourself. I would like for you to now roll. Oh, okay. A, uh, I'm, I'm taking you at your exact word here. I'm going to have you pray okay. for Guidance. Um, okay, I didn't think that's what you were going to have me do, but sure, I will cast Guidance you Cast on Guidance myself. on yourself, like, what should I do? You seek right. this holy information. Okay. I'm going to have you roll an Insight roll, but you can then roll a D4 and add that number to what you roll, because that's what Guidance okay. is. Okay. Okay. Right. So we're rolling a d4 plus whatever I get on this. No fucking way. It doesn't count if it's with the with the with the d4. No, right? only a thirteen on the d20. All right, it's a thirteen. <laughs> thirteen total, and you do get a plus one on inside, I think. Oh, okay, then fourteen. 14. I forgot about that. I think with a fourteen, I you I you feel that that in this exact moment, your best bet is probably to like, to like hang around here because if, because like you already can tell like Alvin's like talking to the guy up there. If this somehow goes okay, then, mm -hmm. then this is, you maybe don't want to run too far, but you also don't want to, so like you think your best plan in this moment, the Lord says, I will pray for them. Just be patient, pray for them. Maybe make yourself a little small. So, you know, a gargoyle yeah. doesn't eat your head, but yeah. That's I will hide and pray for understood. them. So you're kind of as Sister Lucy. You can't you can't fully stealth because you used your action on the guidance, but you're sort of stepping kind of to the side, trying to be a little inconspicuous, praying That's for it. them, hoping they'll get out okay. All right, the Soldier of Fortune's turn. <laughs> well, interesting situation, Alvin. So you've said all the names, are they? But they're not all in the ground yet, are they? Because the light show hasn't started. I think they need. James Breton and mm. another name who was mm. someone no good. Well, they all just buddy. You're in a bad position. You allied with the wrong people. 
What I probably should do is just sh shoot you right now. There was no alliance. You swore until the end of time. That matters around here. I had no knowledge that that would do anything. Ignorance doesn't exonerate. What's still needed with me? Well, you're the one who filled them. You're the one who said the names. You're the one who gets to decide what happens. Well, I'm open to making a deal. But... <laughs> I thought you might be. These two down here matter to you at all? They don't deserve to die. Well, in the interest of deal making, he kind of like whistles and kicks the thing and... Uh, we actually are going to end initiative in this moment. Gilbert and Ava, the two of you, are lifted out of the water. Um, instead of, he's, he's like, I was going to feed him because this mount here, she's she's hungry. Or it, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't think these things have gender in the traditional sense. Um, but, uh, well, if you're willing to make a deal, I'm willing to uh, offer some protection. Although, <laughs> he looks around, you know, the rain's falling down. There's sea monster shouts and, and cries all around. He's like, it's dangerous, but you're safer with me than not with me in this moment, aren't you? Where were you heading? We were going to the shed. Mm. Just seeking safety, really. Yeah, no, it's not going to do much, but uh, he kind of says something to this creature below him, some sort of like... Like, uh, watch our backs, and he'll, uh, he jumps off and, uh, starts just, like, tromping through the, through the stuff, and in fact, sure enough, like, a gargoyle comes swooping down and just tentacle, like, sunk, and it flies off into the, into the vibe. <laughs> um, so he begins to lead you guys over to the shed. Is he a godly man? Are you a godly man? God. <laughs> you know, there's something about being a fight. I think I can almost get it up again. <laughs> I love nuns. <laughs> he just walks past you. Um, Alvin says to them, you can stay with us. It should be more safe than not. Do you trust this man? Are you talking uh, to me? Uh, Alvin. I have no other choice. Alvin and I do, Philip, Alvin and I would know each other. Oh, yeah. Right? If he, okay. I'm assuming we have, like, a, a solid rapport. That's why I'm like, hmm. I have no other choice than to trust him at this point. You, you can always have a choice. I have made my choices. He'll lead you guys on. On over. Gilbert and Ava, you're... Ava, you're probably, like, you know, hacking Buttering, up some stuff. Like, yeah. And now that tentacle thing is just, like, moving, like, slowly behind you. As it's, like... <sighs> it's about the size of an elephant. And it's just, like... <sighs> but it's, like, it's guarding your guy's passage. Um... Dan, would you roll me a d20? If you want hijinks to happen, it. you'll roll high. If you don't, you'll roll low. Don't tell him what to roll. Ten. So... Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, we don't have any mist mist walker on mist yeah. walker encounter here, um, and the the SOF gets you guys to Alvin's shed. So, so what's <laughs> time for peanut butter sandwiches? I'd be happy to make anyone some food. What is? <laughs> I'm good. Water, maybe, to drink, not to drown in. I have. She'll report her light to the cigar. <laughs> you know, this honestly is going to wind up being a better deal than I thought it was. But I gotta admit, when I saw those, those bastards showing up, I wasn't too happy about things and that song. Ooh, but then, but then. Hey, got a question for you. Did you see a sweet little number in a black dress with a guitar? Did you encounter her at all? She's, uh, 
She's, uh, you know what? <laughs> These days, for some reason, I feel like she's a real, she's a real milf. I do not like the way you are talking. Can I attempt to hit the cigar out of his mouth with my yardstick? You can make a yardstick roll. You get a plus two to those. Excellent. We'll roll He's against his AC, but yeah, go for it. Nerves. Eight. You do it, and he, uh, he kind of just grabs it and then goes, that's not where you're supposed to hit me with those things. <laughs> Ugh. Alvin, how do you trust this man? He does not... No. Mm. Nine. This is not a good man. That, oh. sister, is 100% the truth. But right now, I'm a man in my element. I'd really love to get back out there. Right now, some of my allies yeah. are scoring kills. That boxer, who that guy pisses me off. But he can hit pretty hard, and I bet he just punched the head off a... Bet he just punched the head off a gargoyle. Lucky bastard. And I would love to get that sailor fucker back. Whew, I hate that guy. What would it mean to you if I said yes that I saw her? <laughs> a little more ammo for the bank is all. No, honestly, I'm just curious if she if she showed up. I'm sure she's not here for the fighting, but I feel like everyone was peeking in and the trapper was here, you know. It's a mm. big show. Big days. So what's next? Hmm? What's next? What's next is that people are going to be looking for you. We probably shouldn't stay here too long. But once the bodies are where they are, the drifter's probably going to try to get a hold of you before the last body gets put in, so we may need to acquire a body before that happens, you understand. Um, point is, when those bodies go in, you are going to have an opportunity to make a choice. You're going to get what you want. Hmm. Here is what I'll offer you. I and my side won't mess with you, provided you say, we want the walls to come down. Hmm. Break the mist. That's all it takes. It's all it takes. We you just have to the break the mist. Down. Then, ask for whatever else you want. You probably have a couple miracles. This sounds like... Dangerous, ungodly, demonic things. <laughs> Don't let Hopper hear you say that. What's the cost? He's paid the cost. Cost is 13 bodies and graves. Pre Pre-designed. No, you've, you've paid plenty, Alvin. But, there's gonna be hell to pay from the people doing this. Here's the thing. If you back them, if you strengthen, if you strengthen the bonds between these, these domains, which is what they want you to do, it's gonna be much harder for you to get away from them. You like that drifter guy? Be honest with me. He is smarmy. Yeah, I don't trust me. And I don't think you like me, but I think on some level you respect me. Because I'm not lying to you. I don't have to lie. I do my talking. Yes, the devil always me. tells the truth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The devil always tells the truth. <laughs> can I, can Sister Lucy do an arcana check about, like, the mist? Sure, make an arcana possible check. possible that I would know anything about that? I believe you have negative one on those. Go for it. Ah... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Four. God, I'm rolling like crap. Okay. Yeah, you have you, the mist. You're not sure. It's definitely okay. not in your in your holy book. Um, but the soldier fortune is kind of looking at you, Alvin. And Alvin, as you think on this point, we're gonna cut away to another. What's happening elsewhere? So I think I know the answer to this. But who would like to roll on behalf of the bounty hunter? I'll Lauren. do it just if Dan doesn't do it. I thought Lauren would want to. Lauren, you don't want oh. to? Because Lauren, because your one character loved no, her so much. I, I was thinking, for some reason, I was like the soldier of fortune, but we just talked to him. Can I live? Yes, please do. Roll the bounty hunter. Because you're, because you're, Mabel the ghost was like, I want to have a body again so she can be in it. Uh, uh, only 11. An 11. She has a pretty good modifier. Okay, understood. Uh, that will put her at... You know, I'll roll against it. 
or Dan, would you like to or uh, 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 live? Roll, roll, a, roll a d twenty for me. Uh, okay. You'll roll for the forces of the forces of uh, Soldier of Fortune and his friends. That's fine. <laughs> I rolled a one. One. Great. So in that case, meanwhile. Oh no. Oh no. Philip's typing. That's never good. It's just, I'm just catching up on notes. Um, meanwhile, the bounty hunter um, just effortlessly glides through this battle, um, tugging a man along behind her. Um, she eventually finds the journalist crouching towards a grave. The guy under her is like, just unhappy me already. This is preposterous. You're not going to do anything to me. I'm very rich and I'm very important. She's like, yeah, that's that's exactly correct. I'm not going Oh, and she smokes Stipperilla, so they're skinny. Yeah, that's right. You're real important. Nothing's going to happen to you. Hey, Jerno. Um, what's the uh, what's the situation? Uh, I see, well, there's two empty still? And he's like, yes, uh, and uh, they've, they've run off and uh, they're trying to... Um, uh, I don't know, find this last person that Alvin just said a random name. It's, it's, it's almost fascinating, but the fighting has been... She's like, yeah, no, I should probably get to it. So there is one. There is a body, and, and we don't... Do I need to keep this guy? Because he's a real piece of work. Journal says, well, I'm, I, the drifter would probably say keep him just in case, but I don't know, I'd say better get him in than, than let someone else have... And he's like, what are you all talking about? This is preposterous. And then a gunshot rings out. <laughs> James Bretton's blood sprays across the tombstone as the uh, bounty hunter just twirls her six shooter, kind of gives him a little shove. He falls in. She starts. Actually, there's so much water at this point. It's like he's being it's being filled in. She kind of she kicks a little mud in with the boot, and uh, as that happens, the twelfth tombstone ignites purple, and she's like, "Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Drifter can handle this. This one was a." She kind of shows off her neck. Look, I got bit. <laughs> I did the trick with the, I drank the holy water and put it on. You know, it was, it was she it was smoking out her mouth. It was hilarious. Journal, jur, journalist says, you are genuinely a terrifying person. I know. Come on. Let's kill some stuff. And they just start moving through. Um, I love her so much. She's so cool and hot. This is true. Yeah. Unless she ever has a contract for you, and then you probably won't like her very much. Um... Yeah. So, Alvin, at this exact moment, you have this feeling. Not complete, but like you, you, you feel this thrum of like, oh, whoa, okay. There's a, there's a pie. There's a, in other words, Alvin, if you, oh, I haven't even raised these from these. We've had two today. What am I doing? So we're at five. But no, we I, haven't. But what are you talking about? We haven't had any. No, we got. No, we did because I keep a I keep a no, no, note no, over here. No, we, it's a great life. We had Point any. is, Alvin, if here's the dial of how many things you've had to fill in, you can feel that you're at there. You know, mm. it's great. One thirteenth on go. the edge, Alvin. You're on the precipice. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. So, Oof. a lot of work went into this, Alvin. The Soldier of Fortune's kind of thinking for a moment, looking out, preparing to get back in the fight, but he's sort of saying, so what do you think? Are you willing to make a deal? Will you break it? Break it down? We'll be in your debt. We're close. There's one more. Yep. One more body. What happens. Mm -hmm. So what happens when the walls come down? When the walls come down, that mist that's been surrounding this place is gone. You can go wherever you want. You think these are beautiful gardens, Alvin? There are places you can't even imagine. You can go tend those, or you can stay here and tend these. But the point is, people have a choice. They can go where they want to go. That being said, I'm a hired gun. I don't really care either way. The main reason I want you to do this, I was talking a little like the drifter for a second, apologies. Soldier of Fortune's like, because I get paid. 
he'll have explained that, but his 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 strategy is not to like charm you. He's not. So you are not. Because I'll get paid. To the devil or demons, but to the dollar. Well, to the crystal, but yes, dear. That's the idea. I think it's a better deal for you, though, Alvin. I don't have a real dog in the fight. I just know that unless these walls come down, I'm not out of my contract. And I don't like that. Mm. A lot of people get hurt. Change does sound compelling. I've... I'm sure there'll be more work in it for me. Mm. I have wondered what's beyond there. It's interesting stuff. But you made a promise to them if you're willing to break it. What happens if I break it? What happens after I say the words? After you say the words, the miracles take hold. Is my safety guaranteed? If you wish it. But there's always ways to undo such things. If you say those words, you will never have anything to fear from me. I'll give you my bond on that. I will never take a contract against you. You'll be on my do not mercenary list. What's to stop the drifter or Nothing. one of his? That's why you're in such a bad spot, Alvin. You're going to piss off somebody. Hmm. Sounds tricky. All we want, all my employers want, is for you to break the mists. The other two, yours. Do with them as you please. Bring back your friend. If that's what I heard you talking about one time. Make yourself free from danger. That's fine too. How many miracles do I get? <laughs> you wish it would be 13, right? <laughs> but I think it's only three. So it's like a, like a genie in a lamp. Gotta rub me the right way. He winks at Sister Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a sex comment. You see, it's like a, it's like a it's double entendre if he didn't. Uh, do you want some cigar? It's far from clever. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, but not the way I use them. So, Ugh. Alvin. I'm in. I don't know what it's about you. You don't really remind me of people in my crew, but for some reason, I really do kind of like you. Independent of everything. This guy's all right. Alvin, when the time comes... Say the words. Remind me again. Break the mist. Break the mist. All right. <laughs> we're going to go out there and try to... Uh... You know what we're going to do? We're going to maybe try to get that body. But we're not going to try too hard, because if they're willing to get it close... Oh, maybe we can have some... Hmm. Alvin, do you mind? You got any photograph of yourself here? Anywhere? I have no pictures. <sighs> this will sound shady, because it is. Could I have, like, a couple of your hairs? We might have a shapeshifter who could pretend to be you, get captured. <laughs> Let them think they've got you in hand, that sort of thing. Great, thanks. Hey, you guys, it's been real. <laughs> Try not to get uh, eaten or uh, have your head stoved in or, you know, <laughs> shot with a giant laser cannon out there. Um, we're going to try to protect this area for a bit, but if you want to get further afield, you're welcome to. Wherever you are, Alvin, you'll get your miracles. Good work. Mm. All right, we're out. He steps out the door. You guys are alone in Alvin's shed. 
What the fuck? I do not believe you did a good thing, Alvin. Hard to do anything good in paradise. Look, I'm not trying to do anything except get out of here. Is anyone hungry? No. No. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave. There's shit happening here. It's yeah. dangerous. I thought the plan was that we go. <clears throat> I've not a sandwich. It helps me think. I'm not trying to die with a mouthful of peanut butter and jelly. Well, you don't have to have one then. Let him have it and and he can think and then we can get John in that grave. I think we're safe for a moment. I'm going. You can go. All right, bye. <laughs> Be safe. I don't care. I'm, I'm going. Gilbert's I going. I love this. Yeah. Sister leave. Lucy, what are you doing? I, I will mm, stay with Alvin. You will stay I, with Alvin. All right. So Gilbert, my friend. Yeah. You open okay. the door. The rain is yeah. falling down. You hear inhuman scry cries in the distance. Yeah. It's terrifying, but also... From this vantage, would you please make a perception check? That's a 19. Hey, Ooh. you know what, Gilbert? You look down, and there's kind of like a little winding curve, and you see the gates to this place. You'd have to make a little run for it. Now, there does seem to be a few, like, motorbikes parked there, and there's a couple of, there's, like, some creatures coming in, but it's largely not... <clears throat> You think you can maybe get through. However, with a 19, you also notice that sort of much closer, although it is pretty close to the mist, and there are some weird beasties over there too, there's a part of the fence around this that is closer where you could try to like either squeeze through the fence, kind of like some iron bars are a little further apart. You could try to do that and get off into the woods, and then you'd be out of this graveyard sooner. Yeah, I'll do that. You'll do that one. All right. So, Gilbert. You rush off. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to make any rolls yet, Gilbert, as you are running towards that that fence. Um, mm -hmm. There is a there's a moment of like a tentacle like moving towards you, and you instinctively like ah, but it like moves away as if you were one of the people it's supposed to watch. So, Gilbert, are you running as fast? Are you just running, or are you sneaking? What are you doing? It's just I'm trying to sneak. Sense. I'm trying to sneak. Please give me a stealth roll. I'm gonna take my uh, proficiency in stealth. Love it. And I want you to say you just rolled a 15. That would be the ideal right now. God, I wish. No, that was an 8 on the die, so a 10. Uh, 10. Okay. So you uh, you make it there. A 10 is not bad. And honestly, the fact that there's a battle and such. Raining. It's yeah. raining. It's, it's probably good enough for many things. Um, yeah. So basically, you make it to the gate, and now you're looking around. However, Gilbert, it is at this point you do notice there is a gargoyle up like like two sort of stone columns there's like stone columns between you know the, the or like brick columns between the, the the grating here of this fence kind of two over there is a gargoyle that kind of like slightly tilts its head it seems to be like surveying all the battle and would and you know may fly off these are the things that brought you here but it doesn't yeah. seem to notice you at this point okay but it seems like heightened alert but maybe it's just looking out in general what would you like to do i'm just gonna try and carefully quietly walk by uh, it's, you're gonna have to like climb. You're gonna have to, like push oh. some bars apart and climb through this fence. Can I try and do it quietly. Make a stealth roll. Come on, why not? <laughs> twelve. With a twelve, you you can hear it like. <clears throat> but the gargoyle is looking at the battle, and in fact, you do hear you hear somebody going. Fuck yeah! <laughs> as as there's just these pew 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 pew, and then you hear and everything shakes. You see this weird like blue flash in the distance. He goes, "Holy fuck yeah!" Um. So as this is all happening, you uh you manage to pull those bars apart, not too hard. Um. Give me a. Doesn't really matter if it's athletics or whatever. Just give me one roll just for the actual getting through. It's not a super high thing, but let's just have some more danger. 19. 19. And Gilbert, you managed to like squeeze through, and all your years of just sedentary, never doing anything, all your slothful behavior just means that if there's one thing you're good at, it's just kind of like leaning 
And you just... Yeah, it's getting out, yeah. Get out. You are now in the woods. There is a road over there. Um, you see gargoyles flying above you. But there's woods, and you could sort of make it back to the road, and that will lead sort of off the mystery Great. town. Great. I'm out. Okay. So you begin... Good luck. You begin heading off, Gilbert. Still alive. Well done, Gilbert. So why is Philip <laughs> still here talking to him? Well, a great reason. Um... I'd like for you <clears throat> um what should I have you roll for this? How many? Um roll a d4. Just a 4, okay. Just a d4. 3. One we've never met. Ooh. Um, as you're passing, you hear a voice go, Psst! Psst! Hey! Hey! What? What? Who is it? What? And you look over, and you see a man kind of like standing halfway out of the mist. He's wearing a, like a, like a Hawaiian shirt and uh, cargo shorts, and he has a camera around his uh, neck, and he's got, <laughs> a, uh, he's got like a, like a, kind of like a bucket hat on. It's like yeah. sunglasses hanging. His, his maybe some like, Anyway, he just kind of, he sort of steps out and goes, Hey, come here, come here. I gotta get going. No, 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 if you're no, gonna, no, no. If you want to talk, I'm, if you want to talk, walk with me. I'm going. Oh, okay. Uh, he takes a couple picture and he starts walking with you. How's it going back there? What, what's going on? Is there a fight? He doesn't yeah, have that. He's not smoking. It? Is there a fight? Yeah, go, go, take some pictures of it if you want. I don't, I was like, I want to, I'm getting out of there. I'm going home. I don't want to be anywhere near it. Oh, man. Where's your sense of adventure? Don't you like to travel? Don't you like to see new things? No. no. Oh, buddy, you're missing out. I mean, granted, that's really I like watching really my dangerous. TV shows and I like hearing what happens. Do you on like the to watch travel shows? No, that's too oh, much work. I'm sorry. Um, well, why are you leaving? Because there's flying gargoyles and there's tentacle monsters. Oh man, if I was a fighter guy, I'd be out there for sure, but because sometimes cool. the other guys don't like me that I just want to take pictures, you know? I just want to sort of visit things. Nah, ain't that always the worst? Oh, are you one of them? I'm a tourist. What's yeah, your you look What's your like it. What's your name? I'm Gilbert. Gilbert, hey, Gilbert. It's great to meet you. Can I take a photo of us? Power, power walking. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, let's get a picture, let's get a picture. I want to remember you, Gilbert. Fine, sure. Cool. Um, all right, so here we go. Um, I don't. I, I somebody ought to invent a stick where you can do these from like far away. Uh, all right, ready? And seems like a lot of work to make that happen. <laughs> We're both in it, I think, at least. Okay, cool. Cool. I look. I'm. I am. I am genuinely scared, and I want to leave this place. I understand. I am going. Bye. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's like, okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. I just. I, I, oh man, you seem like an interesting guy. Um, I got an idea, okay? Can I just take one more picture of you? Why? I just, just to remember you by, I guess. No, you already have, what, this is getting weird. This is getting, what's, what's your shtick? What are you doing here? I'm just a tourist. I'm just interested in what's happening. Yeah, so I am not in that. Go take. There's a big fucking fight over there. I know, but it's too scary over there. I mean, I want to see it. I just. I know. That's why I, I'm you like, know what I really want to take photos of. I want to see the wreckage. I want to see the ruins of it. I want to take photos hey. afterwards and like, oh god, oh maybe by dread, maybe there'll be an audio tour. Wouldn't that be great? Wait, fine. Tell you what, let's go to the diner, get a couple burgers, wait there, and afterwards you go to the wreckage. Is I the like diner the diner like because a, they make the, the burgers like right a, in front of you. Is it like a classic part of Americana? It seems like a normal piece of life to me. Okay. Yeah, so like what the locals do. Is it like is it like a notable spot? He begins he begins walking. Yeah, I, I, as far as I can remember, I, I went there, you know, every summer since I was 16, you know, all the time. Oh, okay. I'm, I like it. I like it. Yeah. That's actually, yeah, okay. The, the Midnight Diner. Oh, it's got an evocative name. I could probably, yeah, I could probably have a good, in my in my photo album of my tour book. That would be great. And then maybe I great. can take a picture of you? Sure, yeah. I can take, ah, oh, that'll be great. Thanks. Um, yeah, I got this, uh, <laughs> I got this special lens, uh, uh, I got this from a, this place called Voluptua, which <laughs> it would be a crazy place for you to see. That sounds yeah, so come weird. On. <laughs> so the tourist will walk off with you. Um, 
I really, uh, I'm really happy that you rolled that and not like one of like the more like intense ones because I think that levity is what this needed as a counterpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that definitely um, was levity. So. Okay. Nothing suspicious. Some things are happening. Um, poor Gilbert. Or maybe he'll make it. Um, so. Zane, I'm not going to have you make any of these rules. But. I need... Who would like to... So, so Dan, are you, you... I know that the Soldier of Fortune actually does not need a roll. Actually, no, he does. Here are who I'll need rolls from. Three Mist Walkers requires some rolls. I will need the Soldier of Fortune. I will need the Drifter. And then... I will need the journalist. So who wants to be who? Zane, you are not included. You know who I want to roll for. SOF? The... Yeah. Okay, Dan will be the soldier of fortune. Uh, journalist. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you, you've got it, Liv. I don't journalist, care. Liv, Liv, give me the drifter. Okay. All your uh, yeah, that's smart. appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, baby. 19. 16. 19. 16. For the 17. journalist, and what's the drifter got? Seventeen. All right. So please indulge me. I know this hasn't been one where there's been a lot. I mean, you guys have had scary well, stuff. Well, we've been change. indulging you for the last two years. That's fair. All right. Indulge me <laughs> further. So elsewhere, the soldier, or the elsewhere, the drifter, um, is just on some street in paradise carrying a phone book like the Terminator. Opens a door, says, are you John Lane? And there's a band like, uh, yes, I, I am. Your brother a shady guy or something? He's like, he's like, look at his face. Yeah, come on. Um, and uh, and he says, it's probably just easier to carry him dead, right? Uh, one of the gargoyles goes, uh, and then, <laughs> and that's lights out for John Lane. Um, next up, so they get back. Next up, the drifter and the journalist and the bounty hunter are um, like pulling together, like like they're they're like they reconvene on the edge. There's a big like attack coming from the the sea monsters. Huge action set piece. The soldier of fortune's just like, <laughs> oh, ooh, here's what we'll do. Actually, uh, uh, soldier of fortune is doing a great job of basically Dan. Your high roll means he's doing. Uh, he, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, um, it's like a deception attack roll where he's just doing a perfect job of attacking just enough so they think they're like trying to get to this place, but he hasn't taken it yet. Um, yeah. The stone man is also there, which is kind of making it easy for him. The stone man's like defending that because the other people said, and you hear the, the stone man shouting like, why do I have to do everything for myself? God, I, why can't I just get some peace and some tail? <laughs> you know, ripping sea monsters apart. It's amazing. Point being, the drifter and his gargoyles arrive near the grave. As he looks over at the journalist, the bounty hunter is nearby, and the journalist is standing there with another figure, that of Alvin Theodore. And he's like, thank God, finally something's going right. Um, <laughs> he nods to the he nods to the bounty hunter as she kind of tips the hat back. Look, I got bit. I did the go oh, did you do the holy water joke? That's funny. Yeah, it was pretty. I heard smoke from. I've already said it a few times, but it, it was fun. Um, but he sort of uh, goes over and the um, and the journalist. Whew, that's sixteen. Everyone just did real good. The journalist goes. Something's weird about this guy. He's, he's, I, I, I don't, um, he's like, what? He's, <laughs> don't worry for a second. What are you talking about? He's a, he's a weird guy. No, I, I, something's off. I don't know. I, I'm not, um, listen, we don't have time for this. Sister Lucy, aka Liv, aka Drifter, one last time, roll me another d20. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Sorry, sorry to throw him on you. No, it's okay. This one really matters. Shice, shice, shice. Roll low, roll low. Eight. The drifter brings him over and says, Alvin, Alvin, are you okay? And Alvin replies, 
I suppose so. I just want a peanut butter sandwich. And the journalist goes, and he goes, just, then you know what? After you wish to reinforce all of the mist, we're gonna give you a little thing to read. After you say that, you wish for all the peanut butter sandwiches you can eat, buddy. And for your friend back, this is gonna go great for you. This garden is gonna be beautiful forever. You're doing an amazing <laughs> job. And whatever eldritch thing has taken Alvin Theodore's face for a brief moment feels like, oh, that's nice. And then it's like, oh, wait, just kidding. But the point is, that's all internal. So as they walk over to an open grave being defended. The soldier of fortune is shooting down in the area. They're, they're running, they're dodging. The soldier of fortune is just missing. Like, soldier of fortune is doing things where he's like, he's like, he's not an idiot. He'll move and he shoots like just as someone gets out of the way. The other one, he's like, I gotta lead him a little. Like, you know, so whatever. Soldier of fortune with that 19 plus ability is doing great. The journalist, however, because of your role, Lauren, is going, this, something's not right. This is, something isn't right here. I don't know what's, something about this isn't, isn't. But they get over and the drifter says, okay, just like we practiced, buddy. And he nods to a gargoyle who drops in the body of John Wayne. The gargoyles begin pushing mud atop, but that one's already half filled and it's already pouring in. And the journalist watches and screams, no, damn it, no! As the thing standing next to the drifter begins to <laughs> lurch into this kind of like goo and eyeballs and tentacles and begin to <laughs> the drifter looks down and says wait i got played and at this moment alvin oh. as you are raising a peanut butter sandwich to your lips you have this odd sensation And suddenly you find yourself in a dark room with bright lights shining down. There seems to be a, a camera sitting on like a pedestal ahead of you. Oh, um, no. And there seem to be some sort of figures in the dark. Uh, you hear somebody saying, oh, hold, um, oh, uh, okay, get him a headset then, I guess. And uh, somebody walks over, like a, like a floor manager or something, brings you a headset a microphone kind of coming off and a, and a earphone on one side and then this thing over and he, he hands it to you. They say, go ahead, you're on, I guess. Director wants to talk to you. D director? Where, where am I? Just put it on. We're, I, I went to Juilliard. We're, we're, we don't have time for this. He just walks back. Um... Puts it on slowly. Okay. Hello? Hello, Alvin. Who's this? I'm the director. So, it seems like you're going to be our big winner. <laughs> you have filled in all 13 tombstones. And as such, you're entitled to some miracles. How many? You get three. Hmm. So I was told. But we are live, and at this point, Alvin, you see that there's a red light ignites on top of the camera. Who's watching? A very important audience. Elsewhere, we have a brief shot of a little man, a little monster thing on a couch little Muppet on a couch going, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, the guy from there, the change, the change, yeah, 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 cool. And uh, this, this, uh, Marion Carrion is on the ground, uh, you know, with a beer, like, probably, what would she say there, Lauren? Oh, this is exciting. It is, yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is, sugar tits, let's see what happens. Um, so, um, with that, Alvin, the camera is on you, and the director says, say your name and say your first miracle. I am 
Alvin Theodore. And for my first miracle, I wish Morgan Mason were alive again and healthy. Understood. And so she is. Lisa seems to go, Hey, that's the chick he, he was never going to bang before because he's such a weirdo, but cool. Hey, maybe I'll have a chance now. Mm, all right. Oh, well, I'm sure she would have given him a chance before. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're right, you're right. I should shut up. Okay, cool. Um, Alvin, the director says, what is your second miracle? Do you have any verification that the first miracle actually took place? Give us playback. And uh, Alvin, you uh, you see a black and white TV, like turds on off to the side. And uh, you see a shot of Morgan Mason laying in the middle of a road near some car wrecks. She sits up, feels her chest. She seems to be alive. Morgan, would you like to say anything? This is the cut to Lauren intermittently episode, apparently. <laughs> She'll just look around, and it, the last thing she remembers is being in the car, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. right? Oh, telling him to go, Alvin. basically, was your last moment, yeah. Yeah, sh she'll look around and call for him. Mm -hmm. You hear this tinny voice of, like, Alvin, Alvin. Um, there you go. What is your second miracle? I wish to be more powerful than the stone man. Granted. What is your third wish? Um, Alvin tries to just see if he has any newfound strength to just see if there's any... Make a perception roll. It's a two plus well, six to eight. Yeah, you're, yeah, I don't think so. You're not sure. And your last miracle. Break the mist. Granted. Now, about your penalty. You did swear until the end of time. And you know what happens to people who do that. The pain is excruciating, Alvin. Your fingertips suddenly feel like they weigh significantly more as all the moisture is taken out of them. And as you look down, you see them growing and petrifying before you. And then your hands. And then your forearms. You're going to be more powerful than the stone man. But you're also going to share his fate. You swore. You swore you'd be with them till the end of time. And instead you broke the mist. And as Alvin's body turns to stone, you can say one last thing before you become all gravelly in your throat. I hope I did the right thing. I'll let you know now. You definitely didn't. Um, in the, uh, in the room with the fleecing schemester and, and our good friend, Marion Carrion, uh, the fleecing giver goes, oh, whoa, that was crazy. That was a, that was a, oh, huge twist. I that should have seen that coming, but I, wow, oh. that was fun. Ooh. And then you both hear a massive wind outside the attic window. 
What the hell was that? Did this have an impact on us? What are you talking about? He goes and looks out and goes, Whoa, hey, all the mist is gone. Well, I can see stuff over there. Crazy. Huh, all right, well, let's see what else is on. He just sits back on the TV. <laughs> no! She'll go to the window and see what's out there. You see, it's like dark, it's night, but you see that, like, there is, like, purple mist seems to be retreating. Almost as if the surfing domain is no longer cut off the way it had been. She'll grab another beer and sit next to him. This is her vibe now. So they stay to watch TV. Love it. Meanwhile, Al, you, uh, Sister Lucy and Ava, you two are in Alvin's, um, are in Alvin's, uh, chamber. You're in his chamber, his shed. You suddenly hear crazy whooshing and a lot of strange shouting outside. Then, can you please both make a dexterity saving throw, Ava? It's a flat roll for you, Sister Lucy. I believe it is probably a negative two for you. Eleven. Okay. Yep, it's a negative two for me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that is zero. 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 <laughs> zero. I rolled a two. So basically, Sister Lucy, you feel like something strange, and suddenly... How it, where you like maybe you'd stepped over to where Alvin was. Suddenly, in his place, is a stone, massive statue that looks like Alvin. And Ava, you kind of are able to get out of the way, perhaps and like stuff, stuff. But Sister Lucy, you're standing right there. Um, no. Just. As Alvin sort of is here. Oh my god. Uh, Sister Lucy, you take 11 points of damage. Of bludgeoning damage as you're just pounded by the appearance yeah, that's, of this thing. Uh, that, that, How many hit points that, do you have? You're probably nine. Nine. Okay, so basically Sister Lucy and like blood like splashes across the stone of Alvin's stone. Is Alvin wearing like coveralls or just like a jacket? What was his garb? Mm -hmm. He wore overalls. So yeah, his and on his overalls, his his stone overalls have like the blood of Sister Lucy, who like falls to the ground, like ah, 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 you know, like like gasping. She's she's not dead yet, but she looks like she's in a lot of pain. Ava, there's a stone monster here. Um, I'll tell you what, make a uh, give me an just a insight or a, you know, let's just throw your prof proficiency on it. Add two to whatever you roll. Sixteen, so eighteen. Eighteen. You can tell that this is Alvin, but he's been transformed. And he's frozen, right? He's not moving? No. He can move. Oh. But Alvin, you look down, you see Sister Mercy. Sister Lucy is Sister Mercy, I said. You see Sister Lucy on the ground. Um, is Does Alvin have his wits about him? Actually, excellent question. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Who's good just wits about your roll? That's a nat 13, baby. No! Um, yes. So that would be a 19. You do. You have your wits about you. Please roll your d13. It's been two from Zane tonight. It's a six. Six. Okay, so we don't get the stuff. But we For are one? at... Nope, not gonna say it. What, you kind of wanted yeah. one? No. So, Alvin... You are, you've been transformed. You're big and strong. And, um, and Lucy he just on the ground. Just looks down. What have I, what have I done? What, what am I? The sound of his voice is like, <laughs> Barely intelligible for you, Ava. If even. I, I, I don't know. And she's backing away. 
Alvin tries to just kind of scratch at his arms to see if he can get this off of him. The blood? Or the stone? No, oh, the stone. Oh, that was so cool, because it's like, that's the name of the show. Um, there's blood, <laughs> blood all over the stone. Oh my god, I didn't even do that on purpose. Um, <laughs> the scratching sound is intense, eh? What do you do? I, um, I'm, I'm gonna run out. I think that's yeah. a good call. You rush out. It's pandemonium. Ava, give me just a d20. Just, it's a, it's oh a get out of there. Uh, seven. <laughs> seven? All right. That means we'll just roll one last, one last thing between you and the forces of shenanigans. Um, please roll a d20. Again? Yep. That's a 16 again. Okay. So. Um, basically, a couple of gargoyles like, take a swipe at you, but they're sort of like flying. You hear this voice just screaming like, no, they broke it. I can't believe it. Oh my God. How could this gay get any worse? Oh man, this is such a bummer of a night. Um, you hear other calls, but Ava, you do actually make it out. The okay. graveyard. There are things that were around coming, but you're able to kind of rush off into the night alive. Sister Lucy, uh, give me a first death oh. saving throw. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no, I just called me stats. No, 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 come back. It's just a. These are just flat rolls. Okay, flat rolls. Oh, no. Sorry, my dice are all tucked away, so I'm using an online number today. Eighteen. Eighteen. First one's a success. So she's still alive, Alvin. You hear her choking on the thing. Um, Alvin picks her up. Um, can, does he have, can he fly? Does he have wings or is he just stone? No, just made of stone. You're moving slow, uh, in fact. You're very big and heavy now. Hmm. Oh, and you've ruined the roof of your shed. <laughs> I don't think pick. he needs to worry about that anymore. You pick her up, that's fine. Um, and just wants to start moving towards somewhere that can help her. Okay. So, walking into the city, just everything's different now. Understood. So you you run out, you carry her out into the night. A sister Lucy, give me a second uh, uh, death save. Alrighty. That's a one. Okay, cool. So we yeah. have two, two fails, one success. Um, Wait, I don't... Oh, this is my... Drama. One's count is double. Um, Fuck, that's right. Damn so as you, um, as you carry on out... Um, you, uh, Alvin, there's this brief moment where uh, you hear a guy saying, <laughs> Contract over. All right, I'm at full wood again. Let me find. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. This is fantastic. God, I love being over oh. a contract. Um, oh. Alvin, do you turn back to the to the voice? Yes. Don't like it. As you sort of look back into the sort of fight, you see like silhouetted against like flame and crazy stuff behind him. Uh, the rain's still falling, but you see the soldier of fortune like look back at you. Kind of squint. And he gives you a look like. He gives you like the, or like the, like the Jeremiah Johnson, like the. Um, he just kind of gives you a. He can tell you've been turned to stone. He sees what you are. He shrugs, but also. Alvin just kind of nods, crestfallen, and uh, walks back. Love it. All right. So. There are some times where I'm not sure what to do as far as narratively, as far as player characters, as far as, as how to sort of structure certain things. Um, so I'm going to ask Lauren and Zane in particular um, do you guys want me to sort of leave it here? Or do you want me to end it how it should end? 
in my dark, twisted mind. That one. How it should end in your dark, twisted mind. So, Alvin, you carry Sister Lucy towards town. You come upon a familiar street. The street where Morgan Mason died. suburban street. Still the wreckage of a car nearby and in the houses the rain is beginning to let up. As you carry. Oh, Sister Lucy, give me one more one more death uh, fail. We don't know if she's dead or not. Oh, I'm 83. It's been a long time since I've died. Alright. That's a six. Yeah. Sister Lucy is now, you're carrying a dead nun, which is always what you want to be doing when you're a statue <laughs> a statue holding a dead nun that's a, it's a that is an image that is a mental image are you still carrying her um if he realizes that she's dead he'll set her off near the nearest green patch with some really nice flowers you just lay her in some Alvin? Alvin? Alvin turns. You turn, and you see Morgan. She's alive. She says, Alvin, what happened to you? I... I finished it, and... But you're... What, what have you... You... What does this mean? What are you? I... I made a mistake. I... But I wished you... Back. Oh. That's nice, but... And Alvin, as you, um... As you reach out towards her... She kind of... She kind of, like, flinches, and you, you just... You kind of, like, you're just trying to, like, put it... Kind of, like, you know, to reassure her. And you clip her on the side of the head. And her eyes roll back she falls on the ground. More blood on the stone. <sighs> that is where we'll end tonight's session. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow, yeah. Oh, I kind of oh. figured that would happen. Dang. Oh, boy. Dang, 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 dang. Wow. What a story. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no. That was wild tonight. I mean, we've sort of been oh, building God. towards it, wow. both over all 86 sessions and also in what, like the past, like, like 10 that have been the 13 tombstones? It's been 10? Yep. When did 13 tombstones start? It's been a while since we've had a, a first play TPK. It's been a while. <laughs> that is, although we didn't have a TPK because, because both Gilbert and Ava did make it out. No, so I, meant, I was going to say TPK, but not that. But we've, it's been a while since we've introduced a character to die in one episode. That's been, that's yeah, been a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, guys, that was pretty fun. I want to... I, I tried fun. to say boy and wow and said bow. Bow. <laughs> bow, wow. Everyone bow. Bow, wow, yippee, oh, yippee, That's why little bow, wow goes by. Gosh, you know who I really do love playing is that soldier of fortune. Oh, He's yeah. Oh, gosh. Gross. Gross dude. He's gross. He's not, like, but he's not as gross as the drifter. The drifter's though. worse because the drifter's like. Because so here's the thing: the soldier of fortune only thinks he's better than you in the sense that he can kill you. The drifter thinks he's better than you in all senses. I suppose. Yeah, he's he's like a. I mean, I, I. It was easier to go with the soldier of fortune because, I mean, he's he's an asshole, but he's at least transparent. He's a lot yeah. more of a straight shooter. Yeah. He's literally, unless he's trying yeah, to curve bang, the bang. bullet, which he probably could do if he had to. Yeah. Um, well, guys, this has some big impl implications uh, because, like, with the mist... Well, so, I'll also... Well, I won't mention anything. This doesn't mean the mist is over. This doesn't mean the mist walkers can't... Don't, don't, it doesn't mean the ability to go through the mist doesn't matter. 
but I mean, Book and Dagger did ask, "What does it mean for Dreadstorms now?" Oh, it still means a lot of things. Probably but something worse. Now. I will see. Um, no, this worse this has some implications, question. and I gotta say, I, I this was fun because, you know, Alvin, you could have made it all sorts of crazy wishes, and uh, you know, Alvin, uh, what Alvin just did, becoming more powerful than the Stone Man, but then becoming just like him. <laughs> also, this maybe explains why the Stone Man is the Stone Man. He loves someone till the end of time. Then he, then he broke his promise. Um, so that was um, wild. Well, goodbye, Alvin. Although actually, he's still around, but maybe not as a player character anymore. We'll have to see how things shake out. Um, so, to my players, to everyone watching, uh, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, next week, I don't know what it, what happens. I don't know where we go. I don't know how we go um, <laughs> because the domains kind of don't exist anymore. The Dreadlands are unified, which means everything can happen everywhere, which is a very... Everything everywhere all at once! Everything the everywhere brand new characters? Uh, I don't know if it'll be brand new characters or if it'll be characters who we've seen before in various places. I will talk to my players and decide where we're going. Wild. Um, Alvin broke the game. What? Alvin what? broke the game. Alvin, did. Alvin literally broke the game. That's Alvin famous. broke the game, but yeah. this means that Dahlia and Oksana could be reunited here. Oh, that might be another one where I take over and make it sad. Um, <laughs> Lauren was like, go ahead and do whatever you're going to do to Morgan. It's fine. She was dead. She's alive. Died. You can take her back. It's fine. But leave me, yeah. Oksana. Um, so, I, I was ready to let Oksana go, too. Oh, my God. If Alvin had just suddenly said, wish to, I wish Iceman and Fireman were still alive. That would have been <laughs> like the director would have been like, OK, granted. What? Um, <laughs> All right, you you genuinely just surprised me. Um, so <laughs> that was great. Uh, well, guys, yeah. So this was fun. Um, Blood from a Stone, uh, chapter eighty-seven is going to be very different. How My different? Multiple of thirteen. I do not know, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be real different. I don't um, so well, thank you all so much for watching. We have some other. Oh, uh, we just got a raid. Just got a raid. Oh, oh dang. Wow. Oh, y'all hello, like... hello, raiders. We just wrapped up our hello, session raiders. tonight, but uh, yeah, but, uh, it's very fun to epic. fun to see you all. Thank you. We, we just broke a, the game. We just had a game-breaking session. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot What's of implications here. Um, very fun. Well, uh, I guess I'll just carry on with my... I would explain what just happened, but with it with it being over, there's no... I don't know. There's a point. I was... I was talk sm- about... I had a... I had a... I had a... I, had a uh, I needed a cigar stub for a character, so I was using a carrot, you see? Carrot. Kind of baby carrot. And the only I I, can, we plug, can we plug things? You can plug things. Uh, yeah, sure. You guys plug first, plug? then I'll plug all the stuff. Yes, please, live, plug. Plug away. I have something finally to plug, and I think everyone knows, and I know I've been obnoxious talking about it for forever, but goddammit, y'all, I'm on Star Trek Picard. So if you aren't watching Star Trek Picard, go watch it, because I'm on episode three, and I will be showing up again. That is so cool. At a later date. I saw it. I saw it, and I said, hey, hey. I did hey, that. You know, you know the Leonardo hey. DiCaprio meme of the pointing at the, at the screen. Yeah, I did that. That thing. I did that for my couch. So yeah, very yes. cool. Congratulations. I'm really. That's so cool for you. I can Wait, finally no. tell people it was my first real acting job. Yay! Now I got to figure out how. To for a franchise, you have like you have like a modest enjoyment of. Oh, just a little. Yeah, just a little. I bit. certainly don't have a batleth hanging up above above my head right now. Batleth, <laughs> I hardly know left. Um, let's see. Uh. Uh, Dan or Dan or Lauren, plug plug your plug your stuff. I go live on Twitch at very random times. As Philip was telling me before he goes on uh, before we went live. Uh, I don't know when it's going to happen, but it happens. Uh, which is the way I feel about a lot of things in my life. Um, you know, uh, is that good? Is that bad? Who knows? My therapist Jesse will tell me. Um, uh, but I've been streaming. Uh, I've been streaming Golden Sun. Um, only so that we can get to Golden Sun the Lost Age. And I've also been streaming Magic the Gathering. Um, and my do other shit. Um, so, yeah. I also stream on Twitch on Thursdays, typically 7.30 uh, Pacific, but I will pop on intermittently. Hopefully not um, while Dan is on too. But w- we will get better at, uh, and by we, I mean me, will get better at posting on the Discord to announce when I'm going live on on there. Or if you just follow her, 
and follow if you follow the Rose Explodes yeah. and follow Steinberger. That that too. You'll be autumn you'll be you'll be told when they're going live to the point that it's irritating. You'll be told <laughs> that they're going live and people <laughs> will be like, Oh my god, I hate this. We'll we'll tell you like your good boys and girls that we're going live. See, that's why I don't want to do it. Oh that was that was genuinely horrific. Um that was a- so yeah, if you want to watch, if you want to watch Dan relive his childhood that was about twenty minutes ago, or you want to watch Lauren uh, cry about <laughs> Disney stuff, then enjoy those and I do watch cry about live it. on Star Trek Picard, available on Paramount, not minus. Not plus. Huh. Um, in terms of other things to plug, oh, oh, do we have any people to thank? Oh, we have plenty. Yeah. Oh, oh so, we have yeah. some good boys and girls to thank. We Dan, do. I swear to God, I know where you live. There is no God. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> interesting not, not final sexy broken. comment, by the way. Hey, baby, just want you to know there is no God. No God. <laughs> um, so I want to give a shout out to, uh, we had uh, Book and Dagger resubscribe for 23 months. Woo. Just a oh, month. Oh, I missed that one, yeah. Two years. That's that so is pretty months. amazing. That's like so all many months. months. That's all of them. I think I, Book I, and Dagger is literally a day one. Oh, I, I think he cool might have been that. our first non-player subscriber. I, I believe so. So it's 23? 23. 23 and so me. More, That's what more. it's from. I was going to say, what a great joke, 13. <laughs> yeah, it's 26. Woo-woo. And, and we just had uh, apostrophe this just left 13 months to 14 months of subscribing. Oh, wow. Graduated from 13. Yay. That's exciting. Yes. Very exciting. Um, we had uh, we had a follow tonight from Sundance Kid, and Sundance Kid also cheered a bit tonight. Thank I don't you. know what bits are, but I think it's pretty awesome. Um, You'd think after then, 23 uh, months I would know what bits are, but I genuinely don't. I think so everyone has different so kinds times. of bits. It's little shit. Bits. All right. <laughs> we had uh, we also had uh, Andy Don came through and resubscribed, and then also very kindly uh, gifted five uh, community sub gifts this evening. That's so nice, thank it was you. Super kind. And then uh, said, hey, do we get any incentive for gifting? So maybe that's something that we think about, like any type of influence <laughs> somehow for uh, gifts, which is kind of a fun little, uh, I don't know, fun little thing to think about. Definitely and he does have a Twitch channel about. as well. So you can click on his name in the chat and follow him there. there we can think about some incentive. God damn, yeah. it's just doing so many and they're getting each one is worse on than the last. Say more um, about religion. Those are those are hot. <laughs> I'm not done yet, though. So just wait till the thank wow. yous, because we don't want to break it up. We don't wanna... Hey, okay. we broke the mist tonight. We don't want to break this up anymore. We hey, don't want to make wow. search and think. Um, so uh, Taylor Jean followed this evening. We had a new follower. Thank you. And then uh, at the very end, mozzarella uh, came through with a party uh, of 11 raiders, which is pretty awesome. Right, right at the very end. And, uh, and then I might as well plug myself. Yay. You, if you like bonsai trees, uh, I do a lot of bonsai and you can find it on Zane's trees on all the platforms. The best tree content you'll ever find. Best from Zane. Like Zane's trees. Out there. But, but wait, if you, you want to see swords, I'm your follow Zane's swords. There you go. Um, we have other games on this channel. Somehow this isn't the only one. Uh, we have a game on uh, on Sunday called Here Be Dragons. That's every other Sunday, and we are playing this week. We will see as the dragons go to a new dungeon. The tomb? No, it's the... That was not a tomb. It is the Great Pyramid of Eternal Diversion, which one would think is not a thing that you should send that group of people to. Something that is meant to... Di- their whole game has been diversions. Um, they're just all they're doing is collecting quests and they haven't finished a single one. It's disgusting. They've been talking about how they want to leverage all their quest debt. Like that's <laughs> that will be the ultimate solution of that game. Um on Monday like a subprime mortgage. On Monday we have Lossler Academia and those who participate in that game, which is interactive and has a downtime component, you guys can go check that out. Uh, message me on our Discord about that. Um but we had a huge Not day everyone. yesterday. Not everyone can, can hack into the game. When we had we had ten people all do the same activity, which actually uh rewarded at a huge rate and we had all five of our players for the first time ever i kind of thought it would never happen all five players are all all active players lauren uh they all um 
they all did the same action, which had a huge result. So they've unlocked all these. So we're getting all these locations because now they want to find one location from each place, which would help them with whatever the hell goals are in that game. I can never remember. Um, so definitely watch it. <laughs> and then on Tuesday, we are back with Gray in the Dark because all cats are gray in the dark. Origin of that, uh, origin of that idiom. In case anyone cared. Um, well. Star Trek and Star Wars. We also have intermittent Star Trek and Star Wars games. I usually don't plug them unless they're in the upcoming week. But, oh. well, uh, just to let people know. Just to let oh, people know, yeah. yes, we also play um, on kind of like some Wednesdays, we play a Star Trek game. Typically it's the third Wednesday of the month, um, but not, not, every time but uh we we do those and those are those are a lot of fun um that's largely the people you see here plus beth um and then on uh on on the opposite sundays we have a star wars game called mystic starport that is a really fun west marches style game where you are just popping in to fly around on the outrider with dash rendar and lebo because that's that's what where i'm at right now um we have some really fun characters on that one jeremy plays an arcona slicer who uh uh, just is 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 interesting, and uh, we now have Kevin as a as a Jawa who flies around on a jetpack, and uh, recommend that. Uh, and uh, Lauren Lauren shows up as a uh, Mary Allen uh, Mary Allen a uh, clothing designer who keeps getting into into uh, criminal enterprises. She's great with the blaster, you know. She is. She really is great with the blaster. Multi talented. <laughs> yeah, uh, and Pierce is on there as a Yuzum, which look up the Yuzum. Y U Z Z U M. They're from they Endor. Are up. They used to eat Ewoks. It's delightful. And and Dan was on as a Zeltron. That's he, right. He, he will not be there that. frequently because of other commitments, but whenever he's available in the yeah, I got a Sunday night commitment. When I shoehorn my way out of that commitment, I'll shoehorn my way right into that fun, fun game on Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> well, um. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, this has been a blast. I'm very excited about the future of Blood from a Stone because we clearly just um, uh, we clearly just blew some things up. So We uh, just made things real interesting. Some Thanks. real interesting stuff is going to go. So uh, thank you all for watching. Um, as in, like, here, I'll leave you in a question. So if we've blown it all up, what system is this game now? Um, <laughs> on that note... Thank oh, you God. all for watching. And until next time, have a dreadful night. <laughs> the ghosts are inside the house! Taxi's on its way There's nothing left to say I'll give you back the ring Don't look at me like that You had to know it ends like this Couldn't you feel it in my kiss? Not happily ever after down the line